how to land your first job as a smart contract auditor or a security researcher in Web3. So you learned, you learn, you practiced, you read, you watch videos, you are doing challenges, CDFs, but it's not enough. You're still not able to land your first job. In, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you four tips, four crucial important tips that will help you for sure to land your first job in smart contract auditing. These tips that I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna show you how to be different than others, how to not look like everyone else that are applying to the same job, but stand out when you're going to an interview and increase your chances and likelihood of receiving this job offer. So without further ado, let's get started. The first tip to land your first job as a smart contract auditor is to stand out, to learn in public, to have a social presence. Don't sit at your home all day, learn, learn, learn without sharing your progress and your journey. Because once you're sharing your progress and sharing your learning journey and providing value back to the community, you're also showcasing your skills. So maybe it's having a Twitter account and tweeting about what you learn. Maybe it's writing articles. Maybe you like public speaking. So you might want to create a YouTube channel and explain new things that you learn or new projects that you're working on or challenges that you complete. It might be all kinds of forms. It might be articles on LinkedIn, right? Posts on LinkedIn, videos, pictures, diagrams, whatever it is, just provide value, maintain social presence, give back to the community, and at the same time, increase your chance landing a job. Because I want you to imagine the next scenario. Assume you are someone who is looking for a smart contract auditor. You are interviewing two different people. One of them tells you that he learned about what are DAOs and how DAO attacks works. That's it. And maybe he practiced some challenges in them vulnerable DeFi. The other one, on the other hand, tell you that, yeah, of course he's familiar with DAO attacks and he actually wrote an article on Medium of how DAOs can be attacked with some technical examples and sent the interviewer the link so he can check it out himself. And he also had a viral tweet, a thread where he explained everything about DAO attacks and it basically tells the interviewer that it's not only that he has this experience, but he knows how to explain it and express himself. And when you know to explain something, it means that you really control this subject and you know, uh, you understand it in a deep level. So imagine this kind of guy that is interviewing two different different people, who is the person that is might the more likely going to choose to this position? Probably the one that has social presence, that know to validate his skills by articles, by threads, by videos. So this is huge alpha tip. This is huge tip in any thing, any technical thing that you're doing. Even if it's like getting a developer job or an auditor, learn in public, maintain social presence, presence and give value to the community. And you will get this value right back because of the scenario that we just explained. And this is just an example of one of our amazing smart contract hacking students, Block Carl. This guy has 733 followers on Medium. He made a lot of technical articles about DeFi protocols, about smart contract hacking and auditing, things that he learned from the course or things that he just learned in on the internet or from audits that he participated in. He also have a huge Twitter account with 1.4K and it's already being paid off for him. He already gets job offers and opportunities that he wouldn't receive if he wouldn't share all his learning journey and all his learning efforts with the community and learning in public. So this is just one of the examples. There are plenty of others and I highly recommend you to start creating some social presence. Now, the second tip I want to give you to land your first job as a smart contract auditor is to get a solid practical hands-on foundation and prove it with a certificate, a legitimate certificate. And lucky you, you can just do these both things by applying to the 
smart contract hacking course because we have an amazing course outline and syllabus. We cover so many different subjects, the fundamentals of smart contract security and smart contract hacking. And the cool thing is that for every single chapter that you see over here that you're going to learn in the course, there are technical hands-on exercises. So you're not just learning about denial of service, but you're gonna have like four exercises right after where you need to hack smart contracts in your own environment and practice what you just learned in the lecture. So this is super cool. We also have some guest lectures, professionals from the field. Trust is the most known uh, solo smart contract auditor in Coderina in auditing contests. He made hundreds of thousands of dollars in auditing contests in Sherlock and Coderina. He also has its own brand, Trust Security. We also have Pashov. He is a sm solo smart contract auditor, the most book smart contract auditor, and Owen, an educator in the space and the founder of Garden Audits. Now, if you complete the course, there is a final test. And once you complete the final test, you get a certification with a, a grade and degree that you uh, graduated with a smart contract hacking course. And we are working these days with auditing firms and auditing companies that this certificate will be known and accepted. So just by... Uh, enrolling in the course, learning, getting the strong foundation and having this certificate can help you and increase your chances of landing your first job as a smart contract auditor. Another thing that's going to a significantly increase your chance of landing your first job. The third tip is participate in auditing contests. I know from many sources that in job interviews, the interviewers are also interested of what place are you in the leaderboard? Are you, did you participate in public auditing contests like in Coderina, in Sherlock, in Heads Finance? And this is an awesome way to showcase your skills and your experience to your interview. So participate and try to progress in the leaderboard slowly, slowly, step by step, start slow, and then grow from there. And it will be an awesome way to showcase your skills in your next job interview. Now, another cool thing is that recently Coderina, uh, publish the profile feature. Basically, when you sign up to Coderina and you start participating in a contest, there is a new page which shows all your ranking, all the contests that you participated in, what kind of vulnerabilities you find, they show all your activity and it links to the actual finding that you found in these auditing contests. In the past, uh, people used to take all the findings that they found and publish them in a separate GitHub repository to showcase their skills. So if I, Johnny Time, was able to find high severity here or medium severity there, I would aggregate all the findings in my own GitHub repository into like a smart contract audit report to showcase all my experience and all my achievements. These days it's less necessary because you have this new awesome feature by Coderina, but if it doesn't take so much time for you, I would highly recommend you to create your own repository and aggregate all your findings because, for example, Sherlock does not have this feature yet. Maybe you found a bug bounty in a Munify or something in Heads Finance or it was a private audit. So maybe create your own repository aggregating all your achievements, all your findings, so people can see what kind of vulnerabilities you were able to find and how you are able to explain and report them. And the last, the fourth tip to increase your chances landing your first job as a smart contract auditor is provide direct value in order to stand out. What do I mean by that? In the following picture, you can see different auditing firms. Now, this is just a small amount of them. There are many more auditing firms, but let's say that you are targeting one of these auditing firms in order to f land your first junior auditor job. Let's say you are trying to uh, get accepted and get a job in Trail of Bids, okay? So you can go and learn about Trail of Bids uh, company, what kind of problems they have, what kind of challenges, what kind of articles they published, what kind of tools they made. In particular, Trail of Bid has some open source cool, uh, cool tools for smart contract auditing. One is Echidna, which is a smart contract hacking fuzzer. It allows you to fuzz smart contracts to automatically find vulnerabilities by defining invariants. We are not going to get into that in this video, but this is just a skill to automate your smart contract auditing process. Another awesome tool is Leader. Another awesome tool is Slither, which is another tool to automate your auditing 
uh, process, but it works in a bit of a different way. It's called static analyzer. It doesn't run tests and fuzzing the smart contract, but it just scans the code and find vulnerabilities based on signature database. And these are two open source tools that were created by Trail of Bits. Now imagine before you go to an interview in Trail of Bits, you go, you read these tools, you go to the source code, you learn how these tools work, you use them, and maybe you even contribute to the repository. You can see over here for that for Slater, you have 117 contributors. These are people that just pushed some code, added some features, fixed some bugs in the Slither tool, and you can do the same. You can just clone the repository to the computer, learn how it works and contribute to the community by adding features and maybe fixing bugs. Now, imagine how the interviewer in Trail of Bits gonna react once he, he find out that you are one of the contributors to Slither or to Echidna. He's probably gonna be impressed and he can also see that you bring value for free to the community. So it's gonna give you some positive points in the interview. So this is another huge alpha tip, how to land your first auditor job, provide direct value, smart value, to uh, the targeted company that you are targeting and you're trying to land your job in, in order to stand out from the other people that are competing for the same job offer. Now, I hope this video was valuable and insightful for you. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you want to, you have any uh, requests about content and videos that you wanted me to make uh, around DeFi, smart content hacking and auditing, also feel free to share it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and smashing the like button. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.